Today I'm going to show you how to factory reset your Samsung Galaxy device. Now this is useful in case you're going to sell the phone or maybe you're going to trade it into Samsung. This is the proper way to remove all your information. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. So the first thing is just open up the phone and then we're just going to go into the settings of the device. And then we're going to go down here and go under general management. And then here you have the reset option. So of course, before you do this, make sure that you have everything backed up. And you can do that by going back here and going into the accounts and backup. And here you can do the backup and restore and you can back up your data to a Samsung account right there. You could also back up to a Google account. So make sure that you've already done that. You can also use Google Photos to back up your photos and stuff. But let's go back in here, general management, reset. And then here we have a reset, just gonna change the settings. This is network settings, accessibility settings, but we want the factory data reset. So this will wipe everything on the phone. So it's just like you pulled it out of the box for the very first time. So we're gonna select that. So here it's showing you all the different information that it's going to be removing from your phone. So if you wanted to double check that you have the information from these apps, you can do that. So once you are ready, you just need to hit reset. And then if you have a Samsung account or a pin added to the phone, you will need to confirm the password to that as well as you'll need to type in your pin so that it can factory reset. Now there is another way to factory reset a phone through the settings, but if you factory reset the other way, like in the menu settings without typing in all this information, it's going to lock the phone to your account. So if you try to sell it, whoever gets the phone, they will be locked out. They won't even be able to get to the home screen. So you need to make sure that you do this the proper way. So whoever is the new user of the phone isn't locked out and you're not charged back when you trade in the phone. So once you get to this page, select delete all, and then it's going to completely wipe everything on your phone. Now, if you have a micro SD card in here, it will not delete any information on that, but I do suggest removing that before you do the factory reset. Now, depending on what phone you have or how long you've had it, it may take a long time to remove all of the information. So just be patient as it's on this screen. Uh, maybe if you haven't charged it up in a while, make sure it's plugged in and being charged so it doesn't die during this process as well. Now, once the phone has restarted, let's go ahead and double check that our phone is not locked to our account. And you can do this by going through the settings. So you just agree to some of the terms here. You're gonna skip restoring any of the information and you're also going to skip setting up a Wi-Fi. And here, if it lets you skip that, then that means it is not factory reset protected because when it is protected, it requires you to log onto the internet and then to add in your Google account to verify that this is your phone. So since we didn't have that pop up, we can actually just go ahead and turn this off and sell it or trade it back in and none of our information is on the phone anymore. So if you do have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like help backing up your information, make sure you check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.